The easy word for it is ICSI, and that stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection, where basically an egg is injected with a single sperm. So the embryologist will spend some time looking for the ones that are the fastest swimmers, that are the perfectly shaped sperm, and they'll shoot one sperm right into the middle of each egg. And we do that for patients that say have like severe male factor infertility, where maybe the sperm numbers or the quality is really low. So we can assist the process and bypass really severe male factor fertility problems that would otherwise preclude somebody from being able to build their family. I always tease patients that um, I'm the first babysitter, I'm the first one to hold their babies and give them a little bath, so it's kind of a fun thing to, to share with them. We're gonna have to go pick up some more sperm. So these days most embryologists in most good labs will grow the embryos for five days in culture and the reason for that is that it'll grow from a single cell. So again, coming back to these beautiful pictures, this is one cell as an egg. Once it starts to grow and divide, this is an embryo after it's grown for three days. It's about eight cells on average. And then it, each cell just keeps exponentially growing and dividing. So then once you grow it out to this five day five stage, it's called a blastocyst, where there's a big cavity of fluid in the middle. And now it's grown to about 125 to 150 cells. Once there's so many cells, they have differentiated into the outer part of the embryo. This cluster of cells on the outer edge is called trophectoderm. And that's what's gonna grow into the eventual placenta. And then this little cluster, if you can kind of see that a little here, is called the inner cell mass. That's actually where stem cells are derived from the inner cell mass. But that will eventually, if that grows into a baby, become the actual fetal part.